Rolling down the AT Appalachian Trail. So this is the second day out of Dalton. Uh, the wind chill today is supposed to be 41 degrees at 1 o'clock. It's supposed to rain all day. And I don't have the right kind of gear to, to withstand that kind of temperature. I mean, it's the middle of June. And I can't believe how cold it is out of here. So I'm, I'm staying at shelter. I've got my hammock here strung between two nails. So i got a little, little bit of clearance from the net there. But I'm just going to try to stay warm uh, until tomorrow and start hiking again. So, it's a zero day in a shelter. I think this is the first time I've ever done this, but it's out of necessity. Well, I finally made it to Vermont. This is a trail in Vermont. That's why they call it Vermud. We have red mud down south. This is pure black. Great for raising tomatoes. And this is a, I don't know who the beavers were that did this, what company they worked for, but it's a great feat of engineering. It's, it's curved, it's a convex out towards the water. And it's pretty deep. Look at all this water's holding back. There's a big volume of water out there. Uh, and that's a clean looking bog too. What I'm impressed with is the lack of bugs out here. Good job, beavers. So I'd like to thank my hiking partner, Yellow Shoes, who hiked with me for the past few days. He hails from old Kentucky. We're about the same age and hike about the same distance, 15 miles a day. So, uh, but he went on ahead because I had to see a doctor about, uh, I think, uh, ribs. I fell on my rib and I thought one of them was cracked. And as it turns out, it's heavily bruised, so I got to decide what to do about that. So I'm here at the Bennington Museum. Let's go see what we can find inside. Here with Tyler Resch, the local historian here at the museum. Uh, impressive regional museum. And Mr. Resch is going to tell us a little bit about the history of the town. And so I suppose the, the first question would be is was when is it chartered and how old is it? Well, the town was actually chartered in 1761. Uh, it was the first town. No, I beg your pardon. It was chartered in, it was chartered in 1749 by Governor Benning Wentworth of New Hampshire, who had no right to do it. He just uh, went ahead and did it. Uh, <laughs> and he named the town for himself, Benning, Bennington. <laughs> Well, that was nice of him. Uh, the other the other date I mentioned, 1761, is when it was actually first settled mm -hmm. by people who came up here as a, really, uh, they were, uh, it was a theological community. They were congregational separatists who came up here from Hardwick, Mass., and from uh, um, Norwich, Connecticut. Uh, they came up here really for, uh, for a sense of religious freedom, so this is really started. As a, as a religious community, mm -hmm. and, uh, and went on from there. Um, they settled uh, upland uh, in what today is called Old Bennington, kind of up the hill, but they found water power down below right away. In 1762, the next year, they, uh, they built a, a sawmill. What, what do people do nowadays here? It's really quite diverse. I can't say it's, uh, it's, it's any one industry. Um, uh, education, uh, Bennington College is uh, one of the largest employers, and uh, the hospital I think is the largest employer, mm -hmm. Southwest Vermont Medical Center. Well, um, Mr. Reich, is that right? Reich. Yeah. Mr. Reich, thanks for talking to us, and uh, sure. always, always nice to learn new things about new places.
there aren't any chain stores in Vermont like Walmart or Lowe's, Waffle House. They're hard to find. You may have to go out of state, but I did find a Dunkin' Donuts and a Subway here. I wanted uh, breakfast. I couldn't find Waffle House, but I did find Sunny Side Diner, which serves a mean omelet. There are no billboards or advertisements along the highway in, in Vermont either, which makes for a lot of uh, uncluttered highway and a lot of mom and pop shops in the cities, which I think is kind of nice. Well, I don't know what possessed me to do it, but I walked over to the local cemetery and found this spot to be the most tranquil setting for any cemetery I've ever seen. This or something like it is where everybody finishes, and I suppose this is a good place to finish this video as well.